What's up guys? Before we get started with the video, I just want to ask if you can please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. My channel is all about travel, but specifically the great outdoors and national parks. If that's your thing, please consider subscribing. Thank you, now on to the video. Para Lake is probably the best hike in Sequoia National Park. This hike is a little over 12 miles round trip with Para Lake sitting at 9,500 feet above sea level. I did more research before my second visit and I knew I had to do this hike. I missed this hike on my first visit to Sequoia. This trail is mostly traveled by backpackers, but we did it in one day. But I recommend doing this hike in two days if you can score a backcountry permit. But if you're a experienced hiker and fit, you can totally do this trail in a single day if you start very early. We started at 8.30 a.m. and finished at 6.40 p.m. We did this hike on July 31st of 2023. The Sierra Nevada mountains received a record snowfall from the previous winter. We started seeing snow three and a half miles in. At this point in the trail, the view started to become more grand and epic. We could see the Marble Fork Kauai River from this spot. Also, I do apologize if I butchered that name. This river contributes to Takapoa Falls. We actually hiked this waterfall the day prior. We made it to our first lake, Heather Lake. So I made it to the first lake, which was Heather Lake. I think uh, my family is just gonna stay over there, relax before they turn around. I'm gonna make it, or I'm gonna try to make it to the second and third lake. We'll see how it goes. As mentioned, my family stayed at Heather Lake before hiking back to the car while my friend and I continued. I'm so glad we continued on the trail. Check out these epic views. We passed by Astor and Emerald Lake. We are getting closer to the last lake, which is Pear Lake. So we're pretty close to the third lake, which is Pear Lake. Unfortunately, we had to uh, walk past uh, the middle two lakes because we're kind of running out of time here. If we have enough time, we'll probably just uh, check them out on the way down. Yeah, but this trail is no joke. It's uh, primarily used or hiked by uh, backpackers who stay here overnight, but we're only day hiking today. So, uh, it's pretty tough. I can see why people pack, uh, backpack and sit here for the night. Also, too, I think the elevation is just killing us right now. Uh, we're from Texas, from San Antonio specifically, and uh, it's not even elevated. It's almost at sea level, so we're not even used to elevation here. We've been camping here in Sequoia for a few days now. Um, we've been camping at Lodgepole, which I believe the elevation is around 7,000 feet, give or take. Um, of course, you're probably acclimated to that elevation, but I think we're probably like 9,000, 9,500 feet above sea level right now. I could actually just feel the elevation take a toll on me. Earlier, I didn't really have a headache. I was just fine, but now I just have like a massive headache just pounding my head. We finally made it to Pear Lake. We got amazing views of the lake, Alta Peak, and a few seasonal waterfalls. We took in the views before heading back down. So we made it to Para Lake. It's about 9,800 feet above sea level. Not gonna lie, it was pretty tough. Now we gotta go down. Time is running out, daylight's running out, so we gotta book it. I definitely don't recommend this hike if you're a day hiker. Uh, maybe unless you're super fit and you know what you're doing and if you start super early. Other than that, I recommend uh, just staying here for the night. We are almost at the trailhead. 
I did more miles than anticipated. I think I did uh, two additional miles overall. Although all trails did say that this hike was around 12 miles. It probably felt like 13, but I had to do a lot of uh, running around for my group, um, which just added up like those two miles. One of the trips we had to go to the ranger station, was, uh, which was kind of like off the trail, um, maybe like half a mile off the trail. My friend needed water and he needed to use the bathroom. Well, the rangers gave us their purified water and they let him use the bathroom. And then in return, they asked us if we could fill up like these two buckets of like five gallon buckets of water um, on the nearby waterfall for them. So it is what it is, but I'm just glad that they gave him more water because he was all out of water at the top. I think uh, after this hike and after this uh, trip to Sequoia, um, I think Sequoia goes up in my national park rankings. I've been to Sequoia National Park before, um, actually two years in the COVID season, and uh, it just felt kind of one-dimensional. I was under the assumption that it was just like a bunch of huge Sequoia trees, but that's just not the case. The views from this hike today literally just blew my mind away. If I ever visit Sequoia again in the near future, I think I'm just going to do some um, backcountry hiking because it just blew my mind away. Don't get me wrong, if you come to Sequoia and it's your first time, you need to check out the giant Sequoia trees. But if you've been here a few times or if you have plenty of time to spare, I would highly recommend just going into the backcountry. Finally made it. You can see some road. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.